Yo. One week's pay. It's the best I could do. Wait! Hey! You better find yourself someplace to hide and keep praying nobody ever finds you. Try these on. Look, you crazy mother. Put these on. Hey! Stay away from me. I'm telling you, you dumb son of a bitch. <laughs> Trying to save you and your family's life. You couldn't even save your own! <laughs> I'm giving you a choice. Either put on these glasses or start eating that trash can. Three Square Market is a company working on one of the biotech advances at the forefront implantable RFID or radio frequency ID microchips. The tech has been around for decades, used to track pets, packages, and livestock. But now, the Wisconsin-based company is trying to make the implants mainstream. Even with all the risks and unknowns associated with this technology, I was really curious what it would be like to have an implant. So I traveled to Wisconsin to get chipped, thinking, what's the worst that could happen? The chip is coming out at the end of the day. And the RFID chip is already inside there? Yes. And it's a little bit larger than a grain of rice? Correct. Take a nice, big, 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 big deep breath in, and exhale, release. And there, there we go. It's in there. It's in there. Pretty quick and easy. I feel like a cyborg. I feel like a cyborg. Here you go, you're a proud member now. Indeed, part of the club. Just like the cashless society like they're doing overseas already, this would facilitate that because you wouldn't need to carry any cards or cash everything would literally be stored on the chip. I don't want to fight you. Come on. I don't want to fight you. Stop it. No! Put on the glasses. Take a look. Put them on. No! They don't. They got the chip in them. Let's say if somebody comes and takes the chip out of them, they can't repent now. That's ludicrous, brother. Hold on, Revelation question now. Hold on, because you need to make your point. Revelation chapter fourteen, verse nine. And the third angel followed. Shabbat Hashem. Rachah Hakwadash and double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstones. Shalom to the elect. Peace to the elect. Shalom la bequayim. It means peace to the elect. I want to go in this video here. Uh, I was talking to someone today about this movie, They Live, which I've seen years back. And it just came to my attention that Jake is in that They Live uh, spirit. Now, the cast of that, the, the two main characters that I showed in the clip there were fighting um, Roddy Piper. He was a you know, professional you know, wrestler of back in the 80s, I believe, and this guy, Keith David, okay? Now, Keith David, you know, Roddy Piper, Rowdy Roddy Piper, he wanted to tell this guy, Keith David, to put on the glasses and see. And this guy, Keith David, he knew 
something was wrong, but he fought against it. And he uh, put up, you know, he defended, you know, he was very defensive, you know. Now, this movie is kind of, um, it's kind of a little bit backwards because they can't show everybody walking around with glasses and then tell you take off the glasses so you can see. So basically, the the, uh, the whole point of it was that everybody was blinded. And then uh, Roddy, Roddy Piper was trying to show him the truth. And that's what we're trying to do with these uh, other Israelites, which we've been doing. And one of the big truths is the microchip. And I've noticed with the, uh, the priest Zabak, okay, who's a good teacher, obviously, um, he has those, technically those glasses on, and we're trying to tell him to take the glasses off so you can see, okay, or, or some of you might see it like the movie, put the glasses on so you can see. OK. Um, and really, uh, this guy, Keith David, would represent IHPK as well. They love wearing those glasses because they're blind. You know, they can't see. So the truth is out there. It's just not meant for everybody to get. So I'm going to read a couple comments. But before I do, I'll read a scripture first. Uh, this is Romans 11 and 7. It says what th- Romans 11 and 7. What well, then Israel have not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election have obtained it, and the rest were blinded, okay? And that's what you see from this clip. So I'm going to go through a few comments that I've seen, okay? Uh, there was a brother from GMS on there as well. A little willing, I'll, I'll get to see his comment. Uh, but this guy, Ross Marcus Dubois, one, he said, Priest Zabak is a street legend, you know. It may be so. In a lot of guys' eyes, hey, he's been out there pushing. You may, you may look at him as a legend. But if you don't have the full truth, you're going to be in trouble, okay? See, Zabak know that the mark of the beast technically is a wicked thing. He, he understands he believes it's the mark of the beast to a degree, but he don't fully, he's not fully persuaded in his own mind that it is the mark of the beast. And in his mind, he led the steed so long in his, uh, his community, his section or his church, let me say, of an Israelite, that all these people are coming up now and asking questions. And in his mind, this is where pride is kicking in. And he's saying, well, no. <laughs> oh, it's just simple to say, yeah, it's the mark of the beast. The RFID is the mark of the beast. It's really simple to say, but not Zabak. See, Zabak doesn't want to admit that. Because for so long, he took what his teachers taught him and took it to the streets. And he doesn't want to change anything. He doesn't want to grow up in the faith. Okay? So he's on the fence. Well, it's part of it, but it ain't. So what if somebody put it in and then somebody take it out? Okay, I'll get to that, Lord willing, in a second. Okay? So Priest Zabak is a street legend, okay? Somebody else said Khan, and then somebody else said, uh, shit me, Elder Tahar is. <laughs> you know, somebody said, that's high Priest Zabak, okay? And this is what these guys do. These guys are looked at as, uh, these are priests and brothers in the faith that are out there on the highways and hedges. They become icons to people. They become like the LeBron Jameses in a, Stefan carries to, to a lot of people, you know, they don't, um, they're not, they're, after a while, they're not looked at as spiritual men, they're more looked at as, as a form of some form of icon, okay, uh, that's what I see, they don't look at them as uh, messengers of the Most High, okay, this is GMS Saints, the Most High, he says, if you're following the commandments, because the box said, all you gotta do is follow the commandments, If you follow the commandments, you will not make any cuttings in your flesh. Just follow the commandments. Don't take the chip. Don't make any cuttings in your flesh. It's simple. And then he brought out um, Ecclesiastes 38, honorary physician. You know, they they were going into, uh, you know, different scriptures on that. Okay. So I'm just rolling through a couple comments and I'll get back. Okay. Somebody else put Zabak. Keep on teaching this truth. Wake up, wake our people up. See, a part of waking our people up is the hundred percent truth. Okay, knowing knowing you who you are is part of it, and it's good to wake people up. 
But you have to know uh, in prophecy what this is about. You have to wake them up to the fact of the prophecies. Okay? There was a whole lot of Israelites knew who they were, they were Israelites in the ancient times, didn't they? You know? It never stopped destruction. <laughs> they knew they was Israelites, but it never stopped them from being destroyed. So just because you know you're an Israelite now, it's not going to stop you from being destroyed. Okay? You want to wake up and strive for the magistries. You want to be of that number, okay? And you don't want to sugarcoat anything and say, well, it's probably the mark of the beast, but it ain't the mark of the beast. But there's a lot of people on the comment board It's coming against it. And there's a lot of people questioning the Zabak. They're walking up to him, and Zabak is getting pretty pissed because he knows that Great Millstone is the only group that truly pushes this mark of the beast. Sure, GOCC knows the mark of the beast. HODC knows the mark of the beast. But because they want to remain uh, somewhat on a high brotherly level with other Israelites, they refuse to talk about that, okay? It says, the Lord is coming in chariots, UFO soon. All praises to Yahweh Hashem Shah. Somebody said, that's exactly what Brother Adam Abbott was saying. See how these guys, they just icons, they just jump from one camp to the other camp, which they're really, uh, Adam Abbott is a spinoff of HOI. Believe it or not, GMS, because they teach what GMS teaches, you know. Mainly these two camps that Adam Abbott really spins off of. Says that's exactly what Brother Adam Abbott was saying. Or Brother Nyquam, I think his name Nyquam or something like that. It's not so much a physical chip, but spiritual also. Why do you got to make it complicated? Why, why does it have to be complicated? Everything is spiritual when you think about it. Everything is spiritual. But in this realm, what we're dealing with here is one particular thing at hand, and it's that chip which will be fully physical. Okay? It'll be spiritual not to accept it. And it'll be spiritual on the left hand, uh, non spiritual on the left hand side for you to accept it. At the end of the day, it's still a physical thing. That's like saying we were born into slavery, we was whipped on chains and hung and hung and lynched on trees, but it was all spiritual. It was a spiritual thing. You can say that if you want, but I tell you what, say that to the men that was hanging on them trees, to the men that was set on fire while a lot while lynched on the trees. Tell them that it was all that it's spiritual also. Okay? <laughs> Go ahead and tell them that shit. Uh, excuse the language. Uh, but anyway, let's go to another scripture. It says, Matthew 13 and 11. It says, He answered and said unto them, talking to, uh, It was Israelites, because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but to them it is not given. Okay? So you can be a street legend. You could be a great teacher. You could be a great debater, a great scripture man. You could do all these things. That at the end of it all, that's not going to be the only thing that saves you. What's going to save you is uh, was it Isaiah 30? I think 30 strength and stability uh, in uh, that time. Let me get that real quick. Uh, let me see. Uh, this is Isaiah 33 and 6. I think 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. For the fear of the Lord is, is his treasure. And what's the fear of the Lord? Let's go to Proverbs. Proverbs 8 and 13. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Okay? So if you're saying, well, it's part of the chip. What if they take it out? And what if they do this? And you're not fully hating this evil, man. You know? Secondly, when you go to Revelation 13, let's go there real quick. It says, and he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or forehead, which people don't quite get that when they say he calls of all, okay? Let's go up to the NIV version, because sometimes you go to different versions, and they'll give you a, a, a more of a clear uh, forefront of the uh, a particular verse. They'll take some things out, okay? You take the meat from the bone. Revelation 13 to 6 in the NIV says he also forces all people, great and small, rich and poor, free and, and slave. So, and how is it going to be forced? You know, they're, they're going to, 
is going to be implemented and they're going to try to they're going to push it where well, they're going to push it in a manner is cool uh video games and um rappers and singers and entertainers and then when that currency crash you you know you're going to almost be forced to take it okay it's going to be a new currency so when his freezer box says well what if you put it in well if somebody had it put in and they didn't know then they wouldn't be held accountable but at the end of the end of it all, when this thing really is implemented, this is what this is going into. When this thing is implemented, everybody's going to know. Okay, so the minute you sit up there and uh, you, you're not going to, you're going to give it, be given a choice, really, in some cases. So it's not like you're going to be sleep and they're going to be like, okay, let's stick them with a chip. It's going to be the same thing like prison inmates. They give you an option to wear the. Uh, the ankle bracelet, which we used to call HBO, home box office, where you you know you have a chance to wear that um, home monitoring system. Some prison inmates might neglect it, like I don't want that monitor system, but the majority of inmates are going to want to take it because it it means it means a price of freedom. You know, they know what they're doing. This is old technology too. You know. That's why they call us cattle. Okay. Uh, let's go on. Let's go on to the next comment. Somebody said, uh, original Hebrew, how can the mark, uh, mark just be spiritual if this RFID D is clearly about to be in a new world currency? The mark of the beast is both physical and spiritual. The mark is a physical chip, but if not a mark from an actual beast, which is his spiritual side too, still physical nonetheless. And these are, this is what guys do they when they're on the fence. Uh, I've done videos on my other channel, I believe. I had different channels. And a lot of the Adam Abbott, uh, you know, from Brothers of Adam Abbott, a lot of them are now following the Mark of the Beast RFID. Because if you fear the Lord... You won't sugarcoat this thing. You won't smooth it out. You won't play both sides of the fence. You know, not that Zabak don't have some fear of the Lord. He's been out there pushing. What's going on with him is he had more pride than anything. Okay? Okay? That's why it comes before destruction. Okay? This is Isaiah 8 and 20. It says, To the law, to the testimony, if they do not speak according to this word, it is because there is no light in them. There's no gray area, man. You know, you either you either in the truth or you're not. You either get it or you don't. Somebody named Beautiful Within, Beauty Within, says you can't remove the chip because if you do, it will have a chemical in it that will kill you, and that's a, for a trace of cyanide. Don't you know when they when you get that thing implanted? You know, you have now pledged your allegiance to Satan and the devil and Satan. Okay. You have pledged your alliance or your allegiance to them. Ain't no removing that chip, man. And plus, tissue grows around it. There's so much tissue will grow around it. You, you'll, you'll have so much nerve damage, you know. The most hard knows what he's doing. This is a technology that, and they don't even know the long-term effects. This chip might go in near and, and merge in your bone, okay? Or it may travel where they don't know where it really is. You know, who knows? But it'll still pick up a signal. They, man, they got this thing locked. Okay? The chip is nothing to be messed with. Obviously, if you get the chip without your knowledge, the Lord will not judge you for it. My uh, advice is to reject the chip by all means necessary. You know, some people just get it. Some people have uh, either put on the glasses or took taken off the glasses. You know? Some people get it. Some people are just not going to get it. Okay? Somebody said, Con Elder, I'm still not taking the damn chip. <laughs> I'm still not taking the chip, though, Ock. See, these people, for this man, let me read this again. He said, um, I'm still not taking that damn chip, though, Ock. For him to make a statement like that is saying what? That he's looking on the, on the, uh, the, uh, the idea that Zabak is presenting the idea, well, it's not that serious of a thing. You could, if you take it, you could take it out. So we can't say it's the chip. For this man to make this bold statement like this, 
And he said, he calls Zabak his elder. You know? He said, I'm still not taking that damn chip, though, Ock. So why would he say that? He's saying that because in his spirit, he's feeling like you're saying it's okay to take it. That's all I have on that. Shalom.